The most important thing we can do to change the system is to change our mindsets about what's possible. We're at the cusp of transformative change of this system, and we may at most be limited by our imaginations. eLab is one of the vehicles that can open our insights to what's possible and to begin to put a foundation under those possibilities. eLab's trying to answer the same questions that Sun Edison's trying to answer right now, which is what's next for distributed energy. We're starting to realize that we don't have the pricing mechanisms in place that provide uh, accurate signals and accurate reflection of the value that distributed ener energy resources provide. And we don't have uh, all of the challenges solved with regards to how we integrate resources that are now feeding power into the grid at hundreds of thousands of different locations as opposed to coming from central station power into customers' homes. And eLab's trying to answer these questions to understand where do we go next. Leveraging change in utilities is really challenging. There is rigid, structured, regulated industry with participants whose primary directive is to provide reliability first, second, and third. To make an industry that's focused that way start to work through change requires a collaborative process where they can feel safe pushing their boundaries. FERC's regulatory responsibility is to ensure that, uh, that rates are just and reasonable and not unduly discriminatory. And so for us, uh, the participation of any type of resource in the markets that are subject to our jurisdiction, um, it's important that we've got the rules right um, so that, that customers are uh, paying the appropriate rates and that resources are seeing the appropriate signals. And so eLab is, is an exciting uh, collection of, of uh, stakeholders and perspectives in that conversation of how do you bring a resource kind of more uh, completely into the market. How do we deal with real-time technology that can be very dangerous and yet is vital to our economy and our quality of life? How do we put that together in a way that transitions from where we are today into a future that accommodates new types of technologies with the goal that we need to think of all sorts of other benefits that electricity allows, as well as how we generate our electricity to accomplish greater societal goals. Regulators need to be educated about um, what the impact of changes are and what the opportunities are, the successes and the failures and, and where, we've, um, where we might be able to go. And developers, resource developers, need clear signals. They need to understand that if, if an investment is made that there's a potential, a potential for return, otherwise the investment is just not going to be made. These are aggregations of distributed resources that in many cases are complex systems interfacing with the grid. They're systems that have uh, institutional and technical challenges, and eLab is exactly the right set of resources to bring to bear to help inform and accelerate and learn from those projects. We're able to look at not only the big picture and the vision that's very exciting and compelling, but also be able to start having really candid conversation about things like price transparency, the real cost of renewables, something that is really needed out in the community today. But economically and structurally, how can we create a system that is robust, that's sustainable, and that fits into what communities in the country need, which is reliable electricity that supports community development, employment, and economic progress.